Hey everybody, this is Summer with Done Naturally, and today we're talking pump flanges and how do you know if you are in the right size and if it fits? That's what we're talking about today. So lots of different kinds out there. We have Medela, we have Pumping Pal here, there's other brands, Amita, you name it. So what I want to talk to you about is what feels right. So it should feel like tugging, pulling, stretching, yanking, pressure. It should never feel like pinching or slicing or cutting or anything that's gonna make you not be able to talk normal or breathe normal while you're pumping. So if you're feeling that, something's not right. The pressure possibly is too high. The vacuum, the settings, the speed, or the flange. Always a good idea to get with a lactation consultant so she can observe you pumping. Guess what? We can't look at a nipple and know what pump flange she needs. We can't do that. We have to actually observe pumping because I can have a small nipple that gets really big with pumping. I can have a really large nipple that doesn't change much in size at all. In general, I will tell you that a nipple gets about 200% bigger during pumping and also during breastfeeding, but during breastfeeding, you don't see it, but it fills up their mouth. So we need the pump flange to allow your nipple to get as long as it needs and as wide as it needs in order to be able to properly stimulate you, keep your nipples healthy and intact, and express the right amount of milk out without pain. So they get longer, they get wider. They need enough space within this tunnel so they can stretch out without being constricted. And they can't have too much space either. I talk about pump flanges like porridge. There's too hot, too cold, just right. Pump flanges are the same. You can have too small, you can have too big, and you can have just right. For what person you are, what size, you have to figure that out and it's trial and error, and maybe an observation with a lactation consultant. So let me show you a few here. We have the 21 millimeter with Medela and the 24. This is rarely, rarely used. I've been working with breastfeeding moms for about 15 years, and this one rarely is needed. It doesn't allow a lot of expansion through the tunnel, and it doesn't allow a lot of lengthening. Now it might work for someone, but in general, we don't use this one very often. 24 and 27 millimeter flanges come in the kit, typically with the pump that you have. And usually this works for most moms, one of these two. Then we have the 30 millimeter, and then we have the 36 millimeter. Again, you can see just by looking the big difference in size of the tunnel where the nipple is expanding. There is a glass special order Medela that's a 40 millimeter, but very rarely do we need 36, very rarely do we need 40. Typically we're somewhere in between here, 24, 27, 30. Pumping pals, they name theirs by extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. So they have extra small, Small, these are soft silicone. They have, let me get them right. They have small, sorry, medium, large, extra large. And they go by color. The difference between the Pumping Pals and the Medela flanges is this angling right here. So for some moms, this angle, this sharper angle is uncomfortable and they might need this more gradual angle that Pumping Pal offers. Again, you can see here, let's compare these two. So the nipple has more of a gradual pulling into that tunnel. This one is more angled. What's right for you? I don't know. You have to try and you have to have someone watch and see what works. Again, it's all about comfort. If you're feeling comfortable, you're in the right size. If you're getting good amounts of milk, you're in the right size. So you have to feel it, someone has to observe it, and then hopefully you don't find too hot or too cold and you find just right for your size of flange. 
that's all I have for you today. If you like my videos, like, and if you would like to subscribe, that would be amazing. Go ahead and do that too. You guys have a great day. See you later. Bye.